Good morning, all. <laughs> yeah, I'm back at Lewistock. This is Saturday, Christmas Eve. I had a busy old week. I need to get out for a few hours, so here I am. At Lewistock. Gonna fish it down to low water. Fish it a couple of hours up. Maybe three hours up. Then I gotta get on. Things to do, lots of things to do. <clears throat> well, I've uh, shut the workshops down now until Wednesday. Ooh, bloody hell, quite slippery down here. So I've got a few days off, which is great. <sighs> well, been here about, uh, about a quarter of an hour, maybe 20 minutes. Set both the rods up. Um, left hand one's on. Uh, a single hook pulley. Right hand one is a pulley panel. One with rag. One with lug worm. Tip with squid. Both about 150, 160 yards out. There's a bit of rip just out yonder. Yeah, so uh, we'll see what happens here today. We've had a lot of rain, so there's a lot of fresh water in the sea, which uh, doesn't really help the cause, does it? But there you go. Nobody else here. Uh, which is a bit strange. Well, they fished over high tide this morning because that tide tide was early. They may have done that. One never knows. Uh, anyway. Thanks again to uh, Somerset Angling for some absolutely wicked worms. Rag and lug. Good worms. Well done, boys. Thank you. Right. Let's get tidied up here. I've got stuff everywhere. <coughs> and we'll see what happens today. It's a little bit... Uh, Dull and cloudy here today, so I'm expecting a few showers. And I bought my rain jacket, which is good. It's rather warm. Whew, when I left home, it was about uh, four degrees here. And it feels like about nine or ten, which is lovely. Okay, right. I shall bring it back if there's any action anyway. No rattles or anything as of yet. Right, I'll bring it back. Well, I missed that one. <laughs> I'll bring you back. Well, ah, just a quick update for you. I'm now on the sand, which is really nice. It's coming up to low tide now. Yeah. So things should start moving pretty soon, I would have thought. Keep having a few little rattles, but... Uh, Nothing big anyway. Yeah. Look at this stuff. Isn't that better? Nice bit of sand. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. I've just changed the baits. Uh, lug on the right hand rod. On the right hand rod. On the left hand rod is a whole squid. Yeah. Both still on, on pulley rigs. So we'll see what happens. Okay, that's just a little update for you. I shall bring you back.
don't know what this is, but it's fighting well. I'm going to fall back right. Hook right in the kisser. <clears throat> right, let's get him unhooked and get her back in. Just give me a second. Alright, there you go. <clears throat> let's get him back in. Let's see if you can see this. gone. Beautiful little for me. Right, I shall bring you back. Right, well, <clears throat> I'm sorry about this, I've got to cut this session short. I've got to go and help somebody in need. I've got a big problem with their car and they need it tonight and over the next few days, so I've got to go and sort that out. Anyway, I've got to pack up, shifty on. It's a shame because the fish are biting and there's a few about. But never mind. I can't leave these people stranded. <laughs> it's not in my nature. A um, couple of chaps, Marcus and Matt. Nice to meet you two boys. And I hope you, I hope you catch a few fish. That's for sure. Well, this session has produced one little codling, which is totally off camera. When I caught that, there was loads of little uh, kiddies around looking for fossils and stuff, so that's not appropriate to film. So there you go. He was only, what, a pound and a half, maybe two pounds. I'm not really sure. I got him straight back in anyway. And you see the little form back ray. The fish are biting here at the minute. <laughs> It's probably going to be a good night, but I just can't go. Anyway, take all, take care all. Merry Christmas to everybody. Thank you to the new and old subscribers. You all stay safe and uh, have a good crimbo. We'll see you again soon. You take care all. Bye bye now.